Hello. And welcome to the very first episode of The Night Shift. It's me, Nico. <laughs> couldn't you tell? You probably couldn't because this is the first episode and I never introduced myself before. But I am currently sitting in front of a fan, which is off this, off the, uh, you know, it's about a meter away. I'm saying meters now, but you know why? Because I'm in Germany. I'm living in Germany. I don't sound like I live in Germany because, you know, my accent, I don't sound like a German. But, you know, what really is a German? A German is a person that don't believe in air, air conditioning. Like, it's the year 2023 and, and you just don't believe in it because, I, you know, who knows why? It, it, apparently, uh, I heard from a German and they were saying that Germans believe that air conditioning makes you sick. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with uh, just like the air flowing over you and they like mess with your lungs and you get like a cold or something. I don't know. Because I, th- I feel like I've heard like sleeping in front of a fan makes you sick. Or something like that in the past when I was younger. But I do it and I'm still okay. I'm good. Life is good for me. But here in Germany, uh, I don't know if they didn't think it used to get, like, maybe a long time ago it didn't get hot here. But here in the year 2023, where global warming is in full effect, (laughs) it's hot as hell out here. It's nighttime. It's not, it's not cool. So I'm sitting in front of a fan. I don't know if you can hear the fan, by the way. Hopefully you can't. It's pointed directly at this microphone, which is actually an insane choice that I've made that I should have uh, thought of before that. But uh, we're not changing things now because I'm comfortable, real comfortable. Uh, But yes, I'm Nico. I'm living in Germany. uh, It's it's cool. It's cool living out here in Europe. Uh, I moved from the States uh, about a year ago. So I'm living in Germany for a year. My German not good brother not not good at all really like it's i feel like i'm at like at a toddler level which is kind of embarrassing but to be fair how much does a baby know at one year old how much do they know how to speak technically i'm learning at an alarming rate then if you think about it if i'm already at a toddler level in one year how old is a toddler i (laughs) that's a good question bro that's a good question how old is a that's not even make i don't even know if there's like a there's an age for that. I feel like you just know when you see one. You know what I'm saying? Is that how that works? I think so. Anyway, I started this podcast because I I just wanted a creative outlet. Because uh, I feel like what I'm doing now in life, I feel like I've, I've followed the, what is it? The, the, the guidelines that, you know, your parents lay out for you, all the people that are around you in a professional setting, they lay out for you, they tell you, oh, you got to do this if you want to become successful, you got to do this if you want to, you know, blah, blah, blah. You've heard it all before. You follow the path that you see on paper that sounds like this is the right path to follow. And sometimes it works out for people, but uh, I don't know, I feel like for a lot of people, it it turns out that this is not the path that they want to follow, and you can feel it in your heart. And for me, I've, I've, I've felt it for quite some time. But I've just, I've powered through. And, you know, <laughs> there's only so much power through you can do until you snap. And I, I've i always considered myself a creative person. And I feel like without a creative outlet, you kind of go insane. At least for a person like myself, uh, I'm sure others can relate that are in a field that doesn't allow them to express themselves in a creative way. You tend to start going, I don't know, a little stir crazy. If, if that's the word for it. And uh, this podcast for me is going to be a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of an outlet. You know, I can't really speak the way I want to speak at work, the way I can speak here in my living room. Uh, you know, I, you can tell it's my living room because I got plants and shit. You know what I'm saying? You can see the plants. I don't know what kind of plant this is. It's a, it's a big plant with the big leaves and the, and the holes in it. You know, you know what kind of plant. I should probably do a little research on that plant. And there's a cat that's behind my head. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, I me mean, just big plant guy, really. Um, but what was I going to say? What was I just talking about? I was talking about creative outlets. I feel like even for people that don't even consider themselves uh, a creative person, I feel like a creative outlet might still help you in a way that might uh, allow you to explore a different pathway in your brain that you haven't really explored whether it be cooking writing 
starting a podcast, pick uh, photography, anything really. Just a creative outlet for me is is it's what makes me happy. And when I'm not doing that, I I feel like I go into a dark place, and I uh, I want to escape that for right now. So that's what this is for me. Uh, it's a creative outlet to get me out of the dark place. Not to say that the night shift is a dark place. I just happen to be. I had the idea to create a podcast while I was on a night shift. <laughs> so here we are. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I am uh, 29 years old. I'm going to be 30 in one month. I, I honestly can't even believe that. I can't believe it. But for me, I'm not scared of getting old. I'm more scared of uh, not following my dreams and, and living to my purpose to, to you know whatever my purpose may be like I just don't feel like I'm living in my own shoes I feel like I'm living in in the footsteps of the people before me that told me that this is the right way to go for the path to success whatever that may be even you know what even is success success is different for everybody and for me it's being able to make a living off of doing what I love and currently I am not doing that. So here we are starting new creative outlets and in, in hopes for me finding a love for it. And we'll see. This is the very first episode. Who knows? Maybe I hate being a podcaster. Maybe I hate podcasts. No, I love podcasts, but maybe, maybe it's not good for me. But who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see where it goes. This episode one, you know, <laughs> we're going to try it out for, a, for at least a few little episodes. Ooh, and I got me a little drink that I'm going to take a sip of, uh, Prost, my friends. Oh, wait. That's some good wine. What kind of wine is it? Uh, it's red. <laughs> it's not sweet. It's dry. It's, uh... I've made social medias <laughs> for this podcast. What are those social medias, you ask? That's a good question. I'm going to start off with the email because I'm old. I'm finna turn 30, so I'm going to start off with the email. I bet you're wondering what it is. It's night, night, shift, shift at gmail.com. Uh, I bet you're wondering why there's an echo. It's because I got big shoes to fill. You know, there's a lot that I want to do in this life that I haven't been doing. I'm a late bloomer in my eyes, like this plant. Like this plant. It's, it hasn't been growing leaves. You know, the fact that you see leaves right here is actually a miracle. Where have those leaves been for the past few months? Who knows? But they're here now. I watered it, uh, and it came back to life. I, I, I've i been neglecting these plants, bro. It's crazy. Have I watered that cactus ever? I don't even think it wants to be watered. It's a cactus. Cactus? Do they cactus get watered? I don't know. But that, yeah, my email is night, night, shift, shift. Please email me uh, at, you know, night, night, shift, shift at gmail.com. Please email me with with any sort of uh, questions, with any sort of, uh, uh, you know, life dilemmas, any anything really, just email me and I'll try to incorporate that into my podcast. I don't know if I'll, uh, I'll shout people out if they want to be spoken at uh, personally in, in this setting, but, uh, you know, you can probably even put that in the email if you want to be, uh, if you if your name wants to be out there, who knows? I don't, know if I'll, I don't know if I'll name names, actually. I don't think that's a good idea. That's a bad idea. But you'll know your post when you hear it, I'm sure. Uh, I also made a TikTok for this, this podcast. The TikTok's name is Night Shift PC. Uh, PC setting for podcasts, of course. The Twitter I have just made literally two seconds ago is at the Night Shift P. You know, because everything has to be, obviously everything's taken uh, before I make it, which is why all the names are different. You know, every uh, otherwise... Everything would have just been the night shift, but we live in a world where people just make names for shit that they don't even like. I bet you the person that owns the night shift probably don't even use it. What a waste. You know what I'm saying? Uh, did I already name Instagram? The Instagram is the night shift dot PC. TikTok is at night shift PC. Twitter is the night shift P. <laughs> and the email is night night shift shift at gmail.com i'm at a youtube too uh but 
is the is what do I have a YouTube name? What's the YouTube's name, bro? The channel? I don't have a channel. The night the channel uh the, the YouTube's coming soon. You'll see it. You'll see. I'll tag it in places and you'll see it eventually. I don't have a this is the first episode of the podcast. So obviously there's not a video up on that YouTube channel just yet. So uh you know, things will get a little bit will make more sense as time goes on. But uh yeah, I think I'll I'll relay more or convey more about myself as time goes on. Uh script writing has never been my thing. I've always just been a, a guy that goes off the cuff just even in life. Uh so <laughs> if there's not a lot of organization to this, my bad. That's just who I am. I'm not really an organized person, but I'm making I make things work to say the least. I've made it work for myself. I'm in a I've I'm, I'm living pretty comfortably right now. Uh, doing what I'm doing in the personal life, uh, whether it, it's something I actually want to do, that's, you know, to, to be concerned uh, or to be determined. But here we are. Um, what was I going to say? Yes. So I'm turning 30 next month, and I'm really excited about it, actually. I feel like that's a cool year. I feel like my 30s are going to be so lit. I feel like uh, 30s is where you actually become an adult, for real, for real, and life hits you and for me i think life or things for me i like things better when they're more difficult if that makes sense sometimes when things are easy it's not fun i enjoy the chase i enjoy the race i enjoy the not the struggle but i think i enjoy the grind to get to things that's just me personally of course so I'm looking forward to turning to 30. But for some reason, that reminds me when I turned 21 uh, and I was just a measly little platoon leader in the National Guard. And my my soldiers were like, oh, you turned 21. Uh, We're going we gonna to take you to the strip club because that's what we do to 21-year-olds, apparently. I guess that's what they were doing. I don't know why that was a, the first thing that came to their mind. When we were in, where were we? We were in Alabama at the time. Jeez, we are. First of all, we weren't even in like a, a a very metropolitan part of Alabama. We were in like the country of Alabama, and somehow they found a strip club. And so we are going to the strip club. You know, we driving in the <laughs> this freaking government issued van, which is actually crazy to 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 have used it for this situation. Um, wasn't signed under my name, so don't look at me, whoever is looking at me for this type of things. Um, but yeah, we was driving. We was driving for a minute, too. It was like at least 40 minutes, bro, which is crazy for a strip club in the middle of the night when we have work in the morning. Um, we were driving for like 40 minutes, and then we hit some like dirt roads. We were driving on dirt roads for like 15 minutes. And <laughs> I was like, bro, there's no way y'all even... How does there... How is this on Google? How'd y'all find this? How do y'all know about this? Apparently, a few of the soldiers have been there multiple times, which is already concerning for me and some of the soldiers that I've already been concerned about. We go in there. It's a tiny place. It's very small. It's, uh, how do I... It's like, uh... Imagine... Imagine like a, you know those truck stop gas stations? Like those, you're on the highway... And you see a, a gas station for for the the big eighteen wheelers, you know. So it's a it's pretty it's a sizable gas station, but for a strip club, that's not that big. So you go in there, and <laughs> there's like three strippers in there, which it, to me, I I don't know what the you know guest to stripper ratio should be, but I already felt like that was not a lot, <laughs> considering you know. Like, next up, we have Georgia, and I'm like, but we just left Georgia. We in Alabama now. Uh, what a what a funny name for a stripper. She's probably from there. I didn't really ask questions, but uh, long story short, she was pregnant, and it wasn't like she was like kind of pregnant. She was obviously pregnant. Like you didn't have to ask. Like you kind of already knew, unless she had some weird gut thing. But <laughs> that's that's probably not the case. Uh, she was quite pregnant, and you know there was other strippers there uh i don't know what the thought process was behind my soldiers in doing this but they uh, bought me a dance with with georgia the stripper and so we went to this back room and uh she she started dancing you know it's 
she she found out it was my birthday, so she wanted to do extra crazy things. She was like, "I'm gonna rip your hoodie," and in my I was like, mm, uh, "Could you not?" Like I actually just bought this, and like I kind of need it because like this is my only outfit, and if I just go back to the to the you know my unit with with no with no shirt on, like that's gonna look kind of crazy at, at three in the morning. So uh, I'd prefer if you didn't, which is exactly how I answered, by the way, because I'm a 21 year old. <laughs> platoon leader that's never been to a ship club so i you know i convey my message with the utmost clear uh clarity because that's I, obviously that's what shippers need um so you know she was dancing she was doing her thing i i was so reluctant to try to touch her and then she put her hand my hands on her and i was like whoa okay this is this is a new experience for me Wh where am i how am i what's going on here how did i end up in this situation how did my Life choices have me end up in this situation right now is really what I was asking myself. Not that she was an unpleasant person. It's just that I'm not really a fan of strip clubs. I don't think for me having to, to, to give money for somebody's attention, not really my thing, even though that's kind of how life works. They're just the most upfront with it, I guess, strippers in that, in that sense. But I don't know. I felt real awkward. Uh, having this pregnant woman dance on me on my 21st birthday that I didn't even want to be there. They just, <sighs> how did we get here? How do we, how do we get here? I'm turning 30 next month. That's what it is. And I'm thinking about my 21st birthday. Uh, yeah, that's how that was. It was great. Georgia, uh, she's a great woman, respectable. I hope her kids are doing fine. Uh, how do we, I'm not, I don't want to talk about this no more. This feels weird. Uh, living in Germany has been quite the experience. I feel like with what I'm saying about living in the, in the struggle, uh, or not the struggle, it, with living life on its highest difficulty mode, going to a country where I don't really know the language. Granted, a lot of Germans know English, so it's kind of, it's kind of a, a little easy in terms of living in a country that doesn't know, you don't know the same language. At least Germans know a lot of English. But... I don't know. I'm enjoying how difficult it is to communicate and to just do things. Uh, for something, for some reason, I enjoy the difficulty that I'm living in right now. If that makes sense. I, I, the, I usually, if I'm playing video games, I choose not the hardest difficulty because you know I want to beat the game eventually, but you know, second to hardest. And for right now, I feel like Germany is is a harder difficulty than just living in the states. Granted, not that I had everything easy, in the, not that living in the States was easy mode. I don't have all my shit together because I'm just uh, a bag of marbles that just gets dropped on the floor and you got to collect them constantly. And there's a hole in the bag is how I feel like I am, uh, if that makes any sense. Um, but for right now, living in Germany has been quite amazing. You get to travel, you get to see all these different countries. You get to uh, see so many different cultures. Um, like, I could drive a few hours, get to France. Drive a few hours, get to Austria, Switzerland. Uh, I think I want to go to the Czech Republic next. Just to see what that's like. I can drive to Poland. Uh, you know, even the capital of Germany, Berlin, feels like a different country. Berlin's a, a wild place. They all wear very interesting clothing over there to say the least and the vibes are uh, granted the last time i was there was kind of coming off of covid time so i don't really have the best experience but i want to go back and just see what it's like i feel like traveling is is such a a gateway to opening your horizons in in life i feel like uh without travel you know you kind of get a little close-minded and I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have. I'm not uh, saying that everybody is able to travel all the time, so you should be traveling. But if you can, and you can make that sacrifice, you know, in terms of plane ticket and, and lodging and food and whatever, I feel like you should make an effort to travel while you can because it's quite the experience. You get to meet so many different people. You get to expand how you think and how you see the world. Uh, which I believe, to, to for me at least, has, I don't know, it's, I love it. I love having a, a wide view of the world instead of just living in the same town, 
for years and years and years and never really expanding how you think about what you see in this world. Uh, so if you can do as much traveling as you can while you can, um, because yeah, it's, it's, it's like reading a book through experiences, if that makes sense. Uh, oh, like the Barbie movie. That's a, that's a pretty big one right now. I, I want to see Oppenheimer as well. Cause I know they came out the same day, but I feel like Barbie is a little easier to, uh, to, to get more people to watch considering it's 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 barbie bro it's barbie a lot of people don't even know who Oppenheimer is which is insane uh but the barbie movie it's <laughs> that was uh it, is it what i expected i guess i guess it was but at the same time it's it was, it was quite enjoyable so surprisingly i enjoyed it quite a bit um it has very big actors in it so that's I guess uh, a little bit of a a preview of to, as to the level of quality of that's gonna go into the movie. It's it's enjoyable for sure. As an adult, as a twenty nine year old male, I can say that I enjoyed that movie. Is it the best movie I ever watched? No. Is the audience that it was geared for me? Most likely not. But with that being said, I still enjoy the movie. So if you're just looking for a, uh, like a fun event to do with your friends or someone that you're dating, someone that you're, uh, you know, you're in close terms with, I feel like that's a, a pretty good movie to go see. Now, Oppenheimer, on the other hand, I have yet to see it. I feel like that movie's going to take a little bit more of a emotional, uh, emotional uh, baggage uh, can carry with that movie. But I'm looking forward to it. I think those are more the types of movies I'm, I, I like. I like psychological movies. Granted, I'm sure that's movie. I don't know what the movie's gonna be about, or I know it's about, but I know what I don't know what uh, emotion that they're trying to trigger. It's definitely not a comedy movie, I'm sure. So I feel like it's more up my alley in terms of movies that I want to see. So we'll we'll talk about that when we get there. Shows uh, that I'm watching right now. I've been watching the Vinland Saga uh, on YouTube, but since I'm in Germany. Sometimes a lot of the shows don't have all the seasons like they would back in the States. So I'm, I'm about to get a VPN. I'm surprised I don't already have one. One of my friends recently sent me a link uh, so they can get, was it, a, pro a promotion link so I can use uh, NordVPN. So that's what I'm going to use so I can finally watch all my shows because I have accounts. HBO doesn't work out here, which is insane. How does HBO not work in Germany? Germany is a, I, I don't know. How does HBO not work on Germany? That's a, a question for a different time uh but i'm watching vinland saga i recently watched the show beef with my boy steve hewan uh love that guy that show was enjoyable i don't know how they're gonna make a second season or if there ever is gonna be a second season but that one season that they did have enjoyable like that a lot um have they come out with a new season of how to sell drugs online fast don't know but i watched that show pretty not recently watched it about a year ago the season that they did have on netflix i don't know if there's a third season out but i watched two seasons great show great show great show um what else what else um randomly i'm gonna talk about music now uh lucky just dropped an album loving that uh so far uh my two favorite songs so far and probably the biggest songs on the album right now but it's uh, Toonie Vert, which is the, the very first song on the album, and then 2021 Vibes, which is a song that he kind of leaked uh, about two years ago, um, which is why it's called 2021 Vibes. But those two songs, on point right now. Loving those, loving those. Uh, who else has come out with some music? Lil Uzi has recently come out with some music. I, have I listened to the whole album? I actually haven't. I have not, surprisingly. Usually I'm on top. Actually, I take that back. When albums come out, I don't actually listen to them the whole way through because I don't know. Like I, I like what I like, and sometimes I I want to go in and pick pick and choose songs that I I like. I know that's if I want to actually appreciate and hear the artist for who they are, I will listen to the whole album. But in very rare occasions where I go in and just sit down and listen to a whole entire album through and through, so I have not done that. Um. 
Uh, I recently I heard uh, that Kanye is coming out with new some new songs soon. I heard it on uh, who was saying that? It was like an interview with uh, someone said it. Uh, the, I heard it on the internet, and you know the internet wouldn't lie about that. But when has Kanye ever lied about releasing music? You know, <laughs> that's not like Kanye to lie about something like that. That's what he does is release music. He loves doing that. Um. Yeah. Uh, oh, ooh, so inspirations for podcasts. Let's let's go on there. My <laughs> ver- like first podcast that I actually listened to, like I guess like multiple episodes and for just well over like multiple years was actually the J Train podcast with Jared Freed, which is I don't know how I even got to that or who showed me that. I don't know. I think I might have just like looked up the word podcast and wanted to find something that was like somewhat comical but not necessarily just only trying to be funny i don't know i don't know what i was doing it was 2013 i think was when i first started listening to the j train podcast and yeah that's kind of what got me into podcasts uh and then obviously i started listening to the joe rogan podcast he's no he's the biggest podcaster out there and recently uh in about the last year or two now i've been listening to shits and giggles with uh <laughs> Fuhad and James. Is that his name? Is it James? I think it's James. James and Fuhad. Uh those boys are hilarious. And uh I've wanted to do a podcast for quite some time actually. Um uh, but listening to the the Shits and Giggles podcast is really what got me into my podcasting like like I don't know. They they they're the ones that really motivated me to do it. And just Hearing how they they do their banter back and forth between the two, I don't. Should I get a co-host? Who knows? I feel like it would make things easier if I had someone to talk back and forth to. But uh, I don't know. I think I'm going pretty well right now, even though my thoughts are a little <laughs> all over the place right now. Who who cares? We'll we'll get better as time goes on. I'm not gonna be so hard on myself with this. I feel like that's a problem with me releasing creative content is that I'm very very hard on myself and that kind of makes me reluctant to release things because i'm so i think not negatively about myself but i'm very i critique myself very stringently let's just say that and in terms of uh creative content i like what i like and when i create something and i don't see on the level I compare myself probably to an unhealthy level to others that I see out there that are probably more established that have been doing things for way longer that probably when they started, they probably weren't nearly as good as to where I'm seeing them now, but I compare myself to where I see them now and that's just, that's just not healthy. So for creative people out there, if you're ever trying to create something or produce something, you have to compare yourself to yourself. Where were you yesterday to where you are tomorrow, the next day, the next day? And then as you've been doing things, just stick with it. Stick with it. Continue to produce things. Continue to release things. Look back on yourself. Are you better than where you you are before? And even if you're not better, do you enjoy what you're doing? Really, that's really the main question. Are you in a happy place? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Right now, I'm enjoying talking to you guys. And by you guys, I mean... I don't even know who's listening to this right now because this is the very first episode. I don't even know how I'm going to upload this. Where do I upload this? Can you upload things directly to Spotify? Is that how that works? Who knows? We'll figure it out as we go on. Um, But yes, comparing yourself to others uh, usually goes in the terms of you see somebody, you like what they're doing. They've probably been established for quite some time. So you compare yourself to them and you start off today. Those people have been doing things for, let's just say, at the very minimum, a year, which is in the grand scheme of things, not that in the long of a time, but in terms of creating something, doing something for a whole year, whether it be for once a week, that's still 52 times. They've done something 52 times more than you've done it, which is... <laughs> That's a lot of times to create a podcast. If you do a podcast once a week, 52 podcasts versus your first podcast, I'm sure about the 52nd time, you're going to have some things ironed out. 
So comparing yourself to somebody like that, to anybody really that's not yourself, is it can't be healthy, you know? I'm not a psychiatrist. I studied psychology in school, but I'm not a psychiatrist or, or psychologist. Uh, but I, I feel like this can go for a lot of people. Please be nicer to yourself. <laughs> At least for me. This is, I wish I had somebody telling me this in the past. Be nicer to yourself. You want to create things? Create it, put it out there, and let that be it. Don't be so hard on it. Don't critique it to the level that you feel like it's going to be, oh, oh this this got to be huge. My very first podcast, oh, my God. If it doesn't get a million views or a million listeners, a million this, blah, 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 then it's not good. That's not healthy, man. Uh, and I feel like with with where we are today in, in social media, we get to a point in life where we just start comparing ourselves to people that are way more established. And they all started somewhere too. They probably had these thoughts, but they probably just stuck with it. So I'm just saying stick with it. I know I'm, this is my first episode and I'm already saying stick with it, but this is just words that I wish somebody told me in the past. Cause there's a lot of things that I wish I stuck with that I didn't, but it, we're here now. Here we are. Ah, and yeah, I, uh, I don't know where else to, to go with this. I'm going to probably cut it off here and, uh, let's, let's make room for, for episode two in the, in the, in the future. This is episode one. I'm happy to finally have a podcast out there. Um, for all you who have listened to episode one, you guys are special people <laughs> because I, I, who knows where this is going what my schedule is going to be like. I, I do know that I do have an email that you can send things to questions to uh, posts that you want me to talk on, respond to. I can, I can speak on lots of things. Uh, just all y'all gotta do is, all you gotta do is send it to me and I will scrub that list. And if it makes it a podcast, it makes it a podcast. My email is night, night, shift, shift. At gmail.com, there's an echo because the, the shoes, you know, I, I said this before. My Instagram is, okay, hello, welcome to Instagram, hello, here we are. It is night, no, 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 it is the night shift dot PC. My Twitter is the night shift P. And lastly, my TikTok is at night shift PC. I know all of those are kind of different, and it's a, that's actually annoying me that they're all different. I want them to all be the same name, but I created all of those social media accounts and emails literally 30 minutes before I started filming this podcast or recording this podcast. So uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of like the guy that or the type of person that just does random, well, not random, but just does things that, okay, no, <clears throat> For me, I feel very compelled by the things I want to do at times. Not all the time do I, I follow through in the way that I feel like I should, but sometimes it's like I feel the urge to, to just do what I have in mind, and there's not really much that can get in the way of me doing that. Like, even eating, for that matter. Like, eating becomes, you know, a background thing for me. Podcast. I gotta, I gotta get this podcast out. Gotta do a podcast today. Gotta, gotta get all these equipment for the podcast, like this microphone. Gotta get uh, all this equipment, uh, audio interface. Gotta do all that right now. Gotta do it right now. Uh, people are talking to me. Sorry, can't listen to you. Gotta do this podcast stuff, and I get so deeply focused, like hyper focused on things that sometimes I forget to eat for the day. What have I eaten today? I've had some pretzels, uh, pretzels and wine. You know, the the diet of kings, really. Uh, if you're not on the pretzel and wine diet, obviously you're not living to your your highest potential. Uh, but yes, I get really hyper-focused on things and I feel like I just need to get things out. Uh, right now, for me, the thing that I'm hyper-focusing on is this podcast. I don't even know how I'm going to upload it or where or what the, 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 the schedule is going to be for this, but I just know that I want to get it out. And here we are on episode one. Drinking my wine. <sighs> Delicious, by the way. And uh, that's it. That's it. Here we are. I'm Nico. 
This is the Night Shift Podcast. This is episode one. Please send me emails about things that you would like me to talk about, questions that you have, questions about your relationship, questions about random things that come up in your life that you need commentary on or things that you just want to hear me talk about. I'm here for it. Um, hit me up on my email once again, night, night, shift, shift at gmail.com. On TikTok, I am at night shift PC. On Twitter, I am at the night shift P. On Instagram, I am the night shift dot PC. I know they're all different, but you know, yeah, who are we all? We're all different, you know? And I feel like, no, okay. I can't even make an excuse for that. All the names were taken. All right. <laughs> There's really no thought into why my email has an echo. It's, it was taken. The night shift was taken. All right. All right. There it is. There's no thought that was put into that. But here we are. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Uh, I'm Nico. This is the Night Shift Podcast. And I'll catch y'all next time. I love y'all. Bye-bye.